because our students of school and college of nursing have reached a milestone their dream realized and the goal achieved that is to be a nurse graduate or a nurse post graduate the humble beginning of padamulla charitable institution in the year 1880 and today after 138 years spreading its wings and reaching the height of becoming a prestigious educational institution not only in india but across the globe the year 2018 last year was a special year for our school and college of nursing because the school of nursing celebrated the diamond jubilee 60 years of gnm program college of nursing reached another milestone of 30 years of bsc nursing program and post basic bsc nursing program and again silver jubilee of the college of nursing beginning with msc nursing program completing 25 years and we celebrated these events last year and this year 2019 again a year of great grace and blessings to all of us i must say that the nurses trained in padamulla school and college of nursing are very much in demand both in india and abroad sometimes even without an interview nurses from padamullas are asked to join some prestigious hospitals in mumbai bangalore and some other cities in india this gives a clear indication that quality education is imparted here and a nurse graduate comes out of our college as a competent and confident nurse it is not enough to be competent and confident but also a nurse has to show compassion to the suffering humanity keeping in mind the mandate of lord jesus christ to bring about a total healing of a person which includes physical mental and spiritual healing today i am proud to say that our school and college is producing such angelic nurses just like the lady with the lamp florence nightingale the role model of all nurses with this note i would like to welcome our president right reverend monsignor maxim lawrence noronna the vicar general of our diocese and also the vice president of padamulla charitable institutions monsignor being a very simple and humble person has been elevated to the post of vicar general of our diocese he is a man of number of talents but using them in the service of humanity he has served the diocese of mangalore our diocese in the capacity of assistant parish priest parish priest and also as financial administrator or procurator of our diocese and now as vicar general monsignor we are grateful to you for having accepted to be the president of this program and on behalf of all those who are gathered here and on behalf of padamulla charitable institutions i extend a hearty and cordial welcome to you for this program and i request reverend father rodolph providesa administrator of the hospital to offer him a bouquet of flowers as a token of our respect and gratitude with your big round of applause thank you monsignor we have amidst us very reverend dr sister matilda montero the provincial superior of sisters of charity of saints bartolomeo capitanio and vincenza gerosa dr sister matilda did her final or perpetual profession in the year 1979 
her academic qualification. She is a graduate in arts, theological studies. She has for her credit, bachelor in philosophy, bachelor in theology, and masters in theology, doing specialization in moral theology in the famous Gregorian University, Rome. She is also having a credit to her in her postdoctoral studies in spiritual theology, and she is having a PhD in this, and she is the theological faculty of Northern Italy, Milan. The title of the thesis is to shed even one's blood for the good of the neighbor in imitation of Jesus the Redeemer. She has also undergone training in formation for three to four years. She has a vast experience as assistant novice mistress, as superior, and as novice mistress. She has conducted a number of national and international seminars on spirituality, and she is also the Dean of Studies at Institute Mater Dei, Goa. And now from 2012, she is the Provincial Superior of Mangalore Province of Sisters of Charity. Sister, we are grateful to you for providing us Sisters of Charity to render service in Father Mulla charitable institutions and especially by holding high positions in our institutions. I am grateful to you and on behalf of all of you gathered here and on behalf of the institution, I extend a hearty welcome to Reverend Dr. Sister Matilda. And I request Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, Administrator of the Medical College, to offer her a bouquet of flowers as a token of our love and appreciation. Thank you, sister. I take this opportunity to welcome all the administrators, Reverend Father Rudolf Pravidesa, Reverend Father Ajit Menezes, Reverend Father Vincent Saldana, Reverend Father Roshan Krasta, Assistant Administrators for the Sylvester Lobo and Nelson Pais, our chaplains for the Felix Montero and for the George de Souza, who shoulder the responsibility of these institutions along with me, and therefore I am grateful to them and also heartily welcome them all. I acknowledge the presence of the governing board members who are the pillars of our support and guidance to us always. I acknowledge their presence and extend a warm welcome to all of them. We have amidst us the members of the management committee, the heads of educational units, all our teaching faculty, advisory committee members, priests and sisters, with joy, I extend a cordial welcome to all of you. And today, in a very special way, here are the parents of our graduates. Dear parents, we are proud of you. You are our ambassadors because you will spread the fame and name of Father Mullahs. Thanks for attending this program and a hearty welcome to all of you. And dear graduates, we are proud of you. All of you have dreamt to be a nurse graduate or a post-graduate nurse. And today, your dream, your dream is realized. Congratulations to all of you, and may God bless you. We are proud of you, and with joy, I extend a warm welcome to all of you. <laughs> Finally, I should not forget our dear students of School and College of Nursing who bring color and joy to the campus always. We are happy to see your smiling, angelic faces always. When you go for holidays, we truly miss you. 
but today you are here a hearty welcome to all of you with this once again have a very pleasant and very graceful evening today thank you thank you dear father may i now request the principal college of nursing to present the annual report respected and honored dignitaries on the days right reverend monsignor maxim el norona vicar general of mangalore diocese vice president of father muller charitable institutions and president of today's graduation ceremony reverend sister dr matilda montero provincial superior sisters of charity mangalore province reverend father richard aloysius quello director of father muller charitable institutions reverend father rudolf ravi desa administrator father muller medical college and hospital reverend father ajit minezes administrator father muller medical college mrs jasmine sarita was principal father muller school of nursing and professor victoria di almeida vice principal father muller college of nursing dignitaries of the days invitees guests parents graduates students and friends i am proud to place before you a brief report of father muller college of nursing father muller college of nursing started in the year 1987 an edifice of enlightenment and empathy has undergone series of milestones recognizes with pride its emergence as one of the best nursing institution in the country the national assessment and accreditation council nac has accredited the college with a grade on july 10 2014 making it the first nursing college under rajiv gandhi university bangalore to be accredited the staff and students have been inspired and guided through the years by the motto search share and care where nurses search for knowledge share their knowledge and care for the sick with the updated knowledge and skill over the years 2691 bsc 901 post basic bsc and 711 post graduates have walked out of the portals of college and have become its band ambassadors today 175 students are graduating from school and college of nursing the college has state of the art ict enabled college campus supportive learning environment career oriented discipline good clinical and library facilities and hostels all in one campus which attract the students to study here the students excel in sports curricular and co-curricular activities our alumni are sought after by every medical institutions in india and abroad for their excellence discipline and devotion in the nursing profession college has an excellent efficient and highly motivated faculty who plan meticulously all the curricular and co-curricular activities for the students student strength for the year 2018 19 396 bsc 50 pb bsc and 9 post graduates a total of 455 students are undergoing training in different batches academic achievements results of the university exam september 2018 is as follows bsc first year 80% second year 94% third year 95% fourth year 98% post 
post basic bsc first year 73% second year 100% msc first and second year 100% we wish to place on record that our students have won 80 subject wise ranks below 10 in the university examinations congratulations to all these students here is a roundup of important events of the year 2018. We congratulate Dr. Agnes E.J., who has been awarded PhD from National Consortium for PhD in Nursing of Indian Nursing Council, New Delhi, and Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bangalore, on 25th October 2018, for defending the thesis on effectiveness of positive family interactions module on the expressed emotion of the caregivers and relapse of the patients with schizophrenia, a prospective study in a selected psychiatric inpatient facility, Mangalore. She also has three publications for the year 2018. At present, seven faculty of the college are PhD scholars under different universities. Department of Psychiatric Nursing, Ms. Lavina Rodriguez received the best poster award for the poster on human resource, the workforce management at the national workshop. Total publications of the department are eight, paper poster presentations 12, one award, and two faculty were called as resource persons. Department of Pediatric Nursing has six total publications, paper and poster presentations 14. Department of Medical Surgical Nursing has five publications, 10 paper by poster presentations, and two faculty were called as resource persons. Department of Community Health Nursing, Dr. Divina has been recognized as PhD guide under Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences in January 2019. She has published three papers, presented two papers, resource person for three conferences, and Karnataka Nursing Council Observer for a national conference. Total publications of the department are five, oral and poster presentations 11, resource persons 14, and award for the best scientific paper one. Department of Obstetrics and Gynecological Nursing, total publication six, two oral bar poster presentations, and scientific review board members of Enipoya University, two faculty. Department of Nursing Foundation, Publications 3, Paper Presentations 2, and Resource Faculty 1. At present, 20 faculty research projects are on progress. Conferences, workshops, and seminars. On 19th January, Triple Jubilee celebrations, that is, MSc program Silver Jubilee, BAC and PBBAC Pearl Jubilee, and GNM Diamond Jubilee was celebrated with grandeur along with the alumni conference on critical care nursing on 19th and 20th. It was also an alumni get together of more than 200 alumni from India and abroad. All former directors, assistant directors, administrators, principals and vice principals and those alumni who served the institution for 15 and more years and were on service were felicitated. Conference was inaugurated and Jubilee souvenir was released by the chief guest. Most Reverend Bishop Aloysius Paul de Souza was the president of the program who also offered a Thanksgiving Eucharist. Dr. Annie Grace Kalaimati, Registrar of Tamil Nadu Nurses and Midwives Council was the chief guest. Sister Edmund de Souza, ex-principal of School of Nursing, was the guest of honor. A motivational session, Changing Values Among Youth, a National Youth Day, was conducted on 19th and 20th January 2018. An innovative teaching and learning experience for students on concept mapping was conducted on 16th February. Workshop on Retrieving Resources on 23rd February. State level workshop on Press for Progress, Safe In Vitro to Healthy In Vivo 
was on March 9th. The inaugural was marked by the release of a book from a mother to a mother, a post-pregnancy support guide, authored by Mrs. Pramila de Souza, assistant professor, Ms. Daryl Arana, associate professor of College of Nursing, and Dr. Joylin de Almeida, assistant professor of Father Muller Medical College. On that day, Mrs. Vedavati, lady health visitor, was honored for her achievements and contribution towards women in the society. Session on Laws Against Sexual Harassment on Women on 10th March by Mrs. Judith Olga Margaret Krasta, Public Prosecutor, Additional District and Session Court, Mangalore. Talk on Stress Management on 16th March for non-teaching staff. Guest lecture on Trends in Management on Tuberculosis on 24th March, Dr. Sudhir Prabhu, Associate Professor, Department of Community Medicine of Father Mullah Medical College was the resource person. Workshop on SPSS, hands-on experience on 28th March. Workshop on innovative teaching, learning and evaluation techniques on April 4th and 5th. Professor Siraj A.M., Deputy Director, Manipal Center for Professional and Personal Development and Professor of Microbiology at Manipal University and Dr. Anand R. Professor, Department of Pulmonary Medicine, KMC Hospital, Mangalore, Weather Resource Persons. Interactive session on effective student-teacher relationship was on April 6th. Reverend Father Dionysius was, Rector of St. Aloysius College Institutions, was the resource person. College organized a Nutrition, Health and Fitness Expo 2K18 on 5th May at Father Mullah Charitable Institution's campus opposite to outpatient department with the theme, Go Further with Food. The chief guest, Mrs. Sanjana M. Shanoi, consultant dietitian, Nutri Health, inaugurated the program by a traditional opening of palm jaggery, which symbolizes goodness and auspicious beginning. There were 22 stalls from different colleges for the competition. In order to help students learn better English, the English Cup was inaugurated on 25th May. Seminar on ethical and legal aspects in psychiatry was on 26th May. Service learning and innovative practice in teaching students was conducted on 9th June. Dr. Flossie C. R. De Souza, professor from St. Anne's College of Education, Mangalore, was the resource person. Guest lecture on healthcare systems in Switzerland was organized on 6, 18th June. The lecture was delivered by Professor Blaise Claude from University of Applied Sciences and Arts, Western Switzerland. Guest lecture on the topic mentoring skills was delivered on 15th June by Reverend Father Dionysius Was, Rector, St. Aloysius College Institutions. <coughs> Guest lecture on emotional intelligence on 7th July. Mrs. Rosa Nimi Matthew, Assistant Professor in Counseling, School of Social Work, Roshan Nilaya, Mangalore, was the resource person. In-service education on the topic self-awareness and enhancement of self-esteem on 6th July. Reverend Father Clifford Fernandez, professor at St. Joseph Seminary, was the resource person. Guest lecture on curriculum design and enrichment on 9th August. Mr. Abe Nirgude, professor and HOD of Community Medicine, Enipoya Medical College, Mangalore, was the resource person. Guest lecture on the topic, today's preparation, tomorrow's success an insight on preparation for exams for students on 13th August. Mr. Ashwin L. Shetty, administrator of Vidya Rashmi Group of Institutions, Savanur, was the resource person. Guest lecture on improving professional ethics and social responsibilities on 23rd August. Mrs. Vidya Vinuta de Souza, assistant professor, St. Aloysius College, Mangalore, was the resource person. Awareness program on anti-ragging on the theme, Nurture Life, Say No to Ragging on 8th December. Father Muller School and College of Nursing 
holds lamp lighting and oath taking ceremony on December 19th. It is a significant moment in the life of the freshers who choose to be nurses. Chief guest was Professor Lakshmi Devi and Principal Global College of Nursing, Bangalore, and Dean of Nursing, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. Workshop on PubMed database on 20th December. The resource person for the session was Dr. K. Shivananda Bhatt, Chief Librarian, Manipal University. Special events and days. World Cancer Day 2018 was observed at Ave Maria Palliative Care Unit on 19th February. As an observance of Pregnancy Awareness Week, a health awareness program on antenatal care was organized at Urban Health Center, Jepu on 22nd February. On World No Tobacco Day, a street play was conducted on 25th May at Suratkal on the topic Public Awareness on Tobacco Usage. On World Blood Donors Day, intercollegiate seminar competition on the theme Be There for Someone Else, Give Blood, Share Life was conducted on 15th June. The program was organized by the Blood Bank in association with Youth, with youth Red Cross Unit, Father Muller Medical College. Ms. Beulah TP and Ms. Jasmine James, Youth Red Cross members, third year BAC nursing students, Father Muller College of Nursing had secured second and third prize respectively. Breastfeeding week was celebrated on 1st to 7th August, along with Father Mullah Medical College Departments of Pediatric and OBG. Activities were conducted by the department at Urban Health Center, Jeppu, community, schools, and hospital wards. Father Mullah College of Nursing organized a befitting farewell program, Aloha 2K18, for the outgoing BAC 2014-18 PBBAC and MSC 1618 batch of students on 30th August and wish them well. <coughs> on World Alzheimer's Day, a health talk on Alzheimer's disease and its prevention was conducted for the inmates of St. Anne's Old Age Home, Angelore, on 17th September. On 11th September, the course inauguration of the 32nd batch of BAC nursing, 31st batch of PBBAC nursing, and 27th batch of MSc nursing was held. Mr. Shrikan B. Pulari, Registrar, Karnataka Nursing Council, was the honorable chief guest. Father Mullah School and College of Nursing holds Freshers' Day program on 16th November, themed Novato Fiesta 2K18, giving an opportunity for the freshers to unfold their talents. A school health program on the World Mental Health Day theme Young People and Mental Health in the Changing World was conducted at Capitano Composite Pre-University College on 10th December. Street play for public awareness on HIV AIDS on 11th December near Suratkal bus stand. Christmas celebration at Father Mullah College of Nursing, Noel Estella, and at General Psychiatry Ward by Psychiatric Nursing Department. National Youth Day 2019 was celebrated in collaboration with Lions Club Kinnigoli as an extension activity for the students of St. Lawrence Indian School Kinnigoli on January 7, 2019. The Department of OBG Nursing observed Folic Acid Day on 10th January 2019 at Suratkal PHC. A guest lecture was organized on the topic Art of Patience on 2nd February 2019. The resource person was Ms. Evelyn Benis, Professor and HOD, Roshni Nilaya School of Social Work, Mangalore. A guest lecture on healthcare communication on 20th February 2019. Parent teacher student meeting was organized on 19th December 2018 and 11th February 2019. Motivational talk was organized and Mr. Eugene Dikuna, the resource person, enlightened the students on the topic, difficulties in studying and overcoming them. Parents were briefed about the study and progress of the awards, and progress cards were shown to them. Open forum interface was organized by the Student Welfare Committee on 31st January 2019. 
interface, the academic forum is the medium through which students share, discuss, and debate their ideas and concepts with the teachers. The faculty and the student representatives from the each batch of UG and PG courses were participants of the forum. Extension activity in the community. 25 to 30 extension activities were conducted in the community, school, and primary health centers in the form of street plays, health educations, awareness programs, nutrition demonstrations, and school health programs on various aspects of health and hygiene to promote health and prevent illness. 10 radio talks and programs were given by the staff and students on various special health days of the year. NSS. Ms. Jasmine J. and Ms. Swati, students of third year B.S. Nursing, represented Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bangalore, for National Integration Camp organized by Government of Karnataka for all NSS volunteers from 24th to 30th March 2018 at Mangalore University campus. Organized an awareness program on 19th May on environmental pollution through street play at Tokkotu bus station. Unit had given awareness on of air, water, soil, and noise pollution. Participated in a walkathon on World Day Against Child Labor and to bring awareness on organ donation organized by the district administration, Zilla Panchayat, and also Indian Medical Association, respectively. NSS unit of Father Mullah College of Nursing participated in the Vanamahosava along with Father Mullah charitable institutions on 7th July. NSS unit conducted seven day special camp for volunteers from 19th to 25th January 2019. The special camp was inaugurated by Reverend Father Ajit Menezes, administrator of Father Mullah Medical College. The camp led by Mr. Sergeant Xavier, assistant professor and NSS program officer, along with Mrs. Arokya Benita and Mrs. Hazel Asha. The unit has conducted various health surveys in the community, street plays, health educations, and school health programs. NSS volunteers also attended various motivational and informational sessions from experts in the same field. Four career guidance sessions were organized for the outgoing students of the college. Alumni news. The handing and taking over ceremony of the Alumni Executive Committee for a period of 2018 to 2023 was done on 7th April. New executive members were elected. Dr. Divina Rodriguez, professor, is the president of the Alumni Association at present. The Alumni Association handed over alumni scholarship for two students on 15th September 2018. They also celebrated Christmas at Cheshire Home among the poor and destitute, and care and share community service program at Jivudan, a rehabilitation center at Kaikamba. Sports, games, and extracurricular activities. Our students have won medals in the 19th RGUHS Intercollegiate Athletic Meet held at JJM Medical College, Davangere, from 12th to 14th November 2018. 61 colleges had participated in this meet, and our students won level 11 medals. Ms. Ramya, three silver medals, one bronze medal. Ms. Lenisha, one bronze medal, two silver medals. Ms. Flavia, silver medals, two. Ms. Quincy and Ms. Gladys, silver medal each. Ignite 2K19, annual athletic meet of Father Muller School and College of Nursing was held on 20th January 2019 at Father Muller Stadium. Ms. Venezia Annie Carlo, national sub-junior powerlifter, was the chief guest and inaugurated the athletic meet open by hoisting the flag and releasing the balloons. Father Muller College of Nursing students participated and won prizes in the RGHS Mysore Zonal Men's and Women Throwball and Tennikoi Tournament 2018-19 held on 24th January 2019, organized by Father Mullah Medical College. 
women throw ball and tennicoid team of our college was the runner up in this tournament our students had participated in various competitions held at gitanjali by mangalore musical and cultural association and bagged several individual and group prizes as well as second runner up rolling shield on 17th november student nurses association induction program was conducted on 10th december and the new office bearers took the oath students of our college had an important opportunity for an administrative tour to delhi where they visited national institutes hospitals colleges and other significant places too other events college has established memorandum of understandings with university of applied sciences of western switzerland yenepoya university mangalore for phd program swami vivekananda roga anusandhana sansthana bangalore indian cancer society bangalore and st aloysius college mangalore visitors Ms Madeline Bowman project assistant of International Affairs University of Applied Sciences of Western Switzerland visited us on 9th to 7th to 9th January a group of medical and nursing students from the School of Nursing Sciences Switzerland visit us every year and undertake a research project under the guidance of our faculty an inspector from MHRD had visited college of nursing for the swachh bharat ranking in the month of september ours was the only college of nursing which had applied for swachh bharat ranking administrative visit of other college students padumulla college of nursing has been visited by a number of students and faculty from other colleges not only from karnataka but from other states too from january 2018 to feb 2019 Twenty colleges from almost ten states have visited us. For the year 2018, faculty and students have participated in more than 35 health camps and clinics. To conclude, as I conclude this brief report of the activities of the College of Nursing, I want to sincerely thank God Almighty for His continuous grace upon us. blessings through reverend father augustus mulla and in a very special way reverend father richard aloysius quello our director who always has a listening ear to us and all priests in the management who take best decisions for the good of the college i owe my gratitude to my provincial superior reverend sister matilda montero for her constant guidance and support and prayers i am also grateful to my entire faculty who are a blessing to the college who work with me hand in hand and are a strong pillar of support in all the activities of the college thank you dear students for your availability generosity and for being good and giving life to the college and you dear graduates you are our ambassadors the college and this institution has given you the best live your values and be successful in your life thanks to all parents for the grad of the graduates alumni and well wishers for your support and blessings in one word thanks to each and every one of you who help us to go forward with confidence for seeing to do better i conclude thanks again thank you sister may i now request the principal school of nursing to read out the annual report dignitaries on the days of the days good afternoon and a warm felicitation of this day father muller school of nursing is among india's most prestigious institutions it has been providing quality education since 1959 today 
it has grown as a gigantic educational institution educating thousands of students every year the institutions provide world class learning facility in a competitive and collaborative atmosphere to help the students to make a mark for themselves in a medical field the institution grooms a new generation of professionals making them competent enough to face the world fathermulla school of nursing is a unit of fathermulla charitable institutions a registered society sponsored by catholic diocese of mangalore and also a religious minority educational institution established primarily for the benefit of the members of the christian community it is open like all other educational institutions under under catholic auspices to all persons irrespective of religion caste or community and is recognized by indian nursing council karnataka state nursing council and karnataka state diploma in nursing examination board fathermulla school of nursing has the following faculty principal 14 assistant lecturers one clerical staff classroom attendant and external faculty today's students are smart and many students take science as their subject in puc or pdc other academically well performed students select different courses of choice and yet others those who want to be professional they choose general nursing and midwifery program it's a great challenge to mold these students and bring out a nurse out of them credit goes to all our teaching faculty who shaped them day in and out thus i could say proudly that the remedial teaching of a school of nursing has resulted in making an average students brilliant to give an example many of our students who secured 45 to 47% in puc have got 76 to 78% in their board examinations our results a third year students have secured 100% results with eight distinctions second year with 65% and first year with 48% our activities the course inauguration of 61st batch of general nursing and midwifery program was held on 12th september 2018 in decennial memorial hall dr silvia rego associate professor of st aloysius college mangalore was the chief guest the election of student nurses Associ association for the year 2018-19 was held on 21st september 2018 the sna sna advisers mrs steve stacy maven pinto an assistant sna advisor mrs nirmala trindad vice president mrs L miss lavina dimello the freshers day program novato fiesta was held on 16th november 2018 on 19th december lamp lighting ceremony was held a farewell program was organized for 57th and 58th batch of general nursing and midwifery on 28th february 2018 upholding the theme sayonara the sna organized an informative session on exam buster on 7th july 2018 a faculty sonia karen lisiquera was the chief was the guest speaker on 13 december 2018 we held the christmas celebration with the theme emmanuel god god is with us ignite 2k19 burst into flame annual athletic meet it was held on 12th january 2019 merit kumin scholarship per year 10 to 15 students who have found academically observing and economically backward are considered for special assistant by the management merit kumin staff in news Mrs Jasmine Sarita was was the resource person at five different institutions for various topics she has published the research study at the university journal of health sciences and presented two papers in the journals Mrs Natalia Dikunna 
She has participated as a resource person for the workshop on hospital policies. She gave a session for the parents of first year during PTS meeting on parent-child relationship. Mrs. Mabel Gracie de Souza participated in a panel discussion on the theme of International Nurses Day from 7th May to 9th May. She has conducted a session on uniqueness for first year GNM, GNM during the orientation. Mrs. Sonia Agnes de Souza was a panelist which was held during the International Nurses Day celebrations from 7th May to 9th May. Students in news. Bioethics Department of Adamula Medical College organized a competition on the occasion of Bioethics Day celebration. Students of first year GNM participated in movie making and they have won second prize in movie making. The Manglo Musical and Cultural Association organized Kala Sangam 2018 from October 27 to November 3rd. Our students have participated and they have won 13 prizes out of it. We congratulate all these students. We are grateful to God Almighty for the blessing of our life and our institutions and also for our management for catering our every need. A special word of gratitude to Reverend Father Richard Elosius Cuello, our dear director, for his unconditional support and guidance. A word of appreciation, priest in management, and to all our teaching and non-teaching staff for their tireless service. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, ma'am. Let us now honor the graduates of our school and college as the degrees are bestowed on them. They will soon leave their alma mater and play their part as committed nursing professionals. A humble request to the audience to refrain from approaching the days which may obstruct the proceedings of the solemn occasion. An official photographer is assigned for the photo coverage of the entire program. Now we begin with the graduation ceremony with the School of Nursing. May I now invite Mrs. Vidya Mohan, Assistant Lecturer, to present the diploma holders of General Nursing and Midwifery. I kindly request our Chief Guest to present the certificates. Dignitaries, on the days and off the days. I am happy to present before you the students of General Nursing and Midwifery 2015-18 batch. Adeline Regina Malik. Mr. Alphonse Kurian. Sister Amalu Mole Joseph. Anisha Pais. Arpana Ramyati Christina G. Maria Diksha Solome Fernandez Henrique Lariska Perpetual. Flavia Montero. Glenita De Souza.
जेसलिन निलिशा डिजोजा जस्मिता डिसोसा जोनीता नीता फर्नांडिस जॉयलिन डेफनी डिकोस्टा जोस्ना मिलिटा ब्रैग्स कमला मीरल रोशल डेस्ता मेरल विशिता लोबो Monica Minita de Souza Nisha Santanes Priscilla Lobo Priyanka Malik Shani Gloria De Sousa Roshni Vegas Rupal Melisha Mendonka Sister Samuel Nityashri Shanola Rima Sikwera Cheryl Melisha Ferro Shilpa Pereira Shweta Sonia Rodriguez Sonia S. Tinu Saju. Vina S.B. Vinita Josna Marta. Viola Jasmita Pereira. Viola Anisha Dizosa Sister Jasmine Mole Joseph जे देसी रनिता वास थैंक यू थैंक यू सिस्टर वी इनवाइट डॉक्टर एग्नेस ईजे एच ओडी ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ नर्सिंग to introduce the graduates from basic BSc nursing. We request our chief guest to do the honors. Good afternoon to all. I'm happy to present BSc nursing graduates of the batch 2014-18 before you. Aishwarya TS.
Alina Suresh Sister Anant Anina Reji Anisha KV Angela Sebastian Ani Jos Anina Saji Anish Shaju Anjali Jos Anjana Babu Anjumol Anthony Anne Mary Paul Annie Philip Ansa Thomas Anu Maria George Arya Anthony Ashi Abraham Ashlyn Genesia D. Almeida Barikyanti Shadaf Vivamol Abraham Bibi Benny Bilsi Joseph Caroline D'Souza Charita Clavia Lewis Chelsea George Chinchu Anthony Krishna Abraham Silla Reji Crystal Rincia Dizusa Deepa Rose Matthew Dinia Sebastian Dia James Donna Sebastian Elizabeth Sunny Elsu Abraham Fiona Sis Wilson Francella Sonia D'Souza Giftimoldi Joseph
ഗ്ലോറി മറിയം മാത്യു ഹർഷ തോമസ് ജാസ്മിൻ മാത്യു ജയപ്രതാപ് ജയറാണി ജോസഫ് ജിൻസി ചാക്കോ ജിസ്മി ജോസഫ് ജിസ്മി മറിയ ടി ദേവസ്യ ജോസ്ലിൻ മിലിറ്റ ക്രാസ്ക ജോസ്മി ആൻഡ്രൂസ് ജോസ്ന ജോസഫ് ജോസ്ന മേരി ജോസ് ജോയലിൻ സാൻട്രിയ പിൻഡോ ലിയോൺസ മരിയോള ഡി റൊസാരിയോ ലിഡിയ ജസ്റ്റിൻ ലിൻഡ മരിയം ജോസ് ജോസഫ് മെലാനി നതാഷ ലൂയിസ് മേപ്പ പാങ്ക്യ മറീന റെജി മർലിൻ പോയഫ് മിനു സോണി നികിത നിഷ ഡിസൂസ അബിഗേൽ സാലേഷൻ പ്രതിമ നീത കാസ്റ്റീനോ പ്രിയങ്ക എലിസബത്ത് മാത്യു റൈന റോസ് ജോൺസൺ ജ സാം റോസ്മേരി ജോസഫ് റോഷ്നി മറിയ സൂര്യ സ 
Helen Raju. Sarah Abhi. Shalina Elisha Bisusa. Shalu Sebastian. Nehamal Thomas, Soji S. Saji, Surya George, Steffi Norona. Elizabeth John Sumi Matai Sushma Putino Tiara Carol Pinto Vensila Mundo Rodriguez Vrinta Vilsha Ujjolita Gizilva Christy Dilley Thank you, ma'am. We now invite Professor Irene Alvarez, HOD of Community Health Nursing, to introduce the graduates from post basic BSc Nursing and the postgraduates. We request our chief guest to do the honors. Good afternoon to one and all gathered here. I'm happy to present before you the graduates of PPBSC Nursing 2016 17 batch. Ashwati Babu, Bincy Jones, Bindu Pipi, Elvira Kutina. Fernandez Jadria Jaisila, Harit Philip, Gina Joseph, Justina Jose, John C. Joseph. Joiner Priyanka Pais, Jyoti Vargis, 
ज्योत्ना जोस लिंसी कुरियन एम वी झांसी निशामोल जोसेफ प्रिया फियोला पिंटो रोजमी सवी सारिका केवी शाइनी शेरिन जोस शाइनी मैथ्यू सिचिमोल केजे शरल पिंटो डोना थचाई नाउ आई प्रेजेंट बिफोर यू द एमएससी ग्रेजुएट 2016-17 बैच नेहा मैथ्यू शिटी जेकर Sunita Merlin Fernandez Dini Davis Laura S Carvalho Mukta Aurelia Turki Rizma Bezami Fernandez Bini Paul Nancy Tiers Congratulations and thank you Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sister. As our graduates are all set to begin their healing and comforting ministry, it is very important to carry out their task with utmost dedication, abiding by the ethical and moral principles, and also upholding the dignity of their profession. Let us now witness the oath taking by our nursing graduates and may i now request our principal of college of nursing to administer the professional nurses oath i request all gnm and bsc graduates to stand up put forth your right hand and repeat after me kindly put forth your right hand I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession diligently I will respect all life human dignity and rights in the practice of my calling I will zealously seek to care for those in need irrespective of race creed color or social status I will collaborate and coordinate with the health team and devote myself to the welfare of my patients my family and my country i will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility to promote health to prevent illness to restore health and to alleviate suffering I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. Please lower your hands. Congratulations to each one of you.
kindly place the tassel of your cap from left to right as a symbol of your graduates. I request the all audience to give, give a hand for them. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us 175 graduates and their unforgettable moment celebrating their achievements. Today, the field of education has gained new promising additions. Dear graduates, it's a new beginning, a new chapter, a new endeavor, and above all, a new challenge. Take pride in how far you have come. Have faith in how far you go. But do not forget to enjoy the journey. May God's grace be with you as you step ahead towards your dreams. Hearty congratulations to all our graduates and postgraduates. Congratulations, dear parents. It is a beautiful moment watching your daughters and sons growing up as you have always loved to and getting one step closer to your dreams. Congratulations to all the parents and guardians of our graduates. I request the graduates to be seated. We now request our chief guest to give the graduation address. Respected Reverend Monsignor Maxim Narona, Vicar General Mangalore Diocese, President of today's graduation function, Reverend Father Richard Elocius Quedio, Director of Father Muller Charitable Institutions, Reverend Father Rudolph Ravi Desa, Administrator, Father Muller Medical College and Hospital, Reverend Father Ajit Menezes, Administrator, Father Muller Medical College, Sister Jacinta de Souza, Principal, Father Muller's College of Nursing, Sis Mrs. Jasmine Sarita Vas, Principal, School of Nursing, staff and students, graduates, parents, guests, invitees, and well wishers. At the outset, I extend my hearty congratulations to the 175 graduates of GNM, BSc, PCBSc, and MSc nursing courses. It is indeed a very joyful occasion for me to be present at this significant event in your life and to convey to you my best wishes. Through your graduation, you add vitality and beauty to your noble profession. And you are expected to maintain your own dignity and decorum as professional nurses by your integrity, trustworthiness, and honesty. Be just to your profession and be effective change agents in an ever-changing society. I'm sure today your graduation is indeed a memorable and fulfilling event in your life. This happiness should create in you a deep sense of gratitude to God, to your parents, Father Muller Institution, and School and College of Nursing, staff, and your companions who have played a significant role to assist you and to reach your goal. You have become enthusiastic, positive in your outlook, creative in your service, motivated to improve your knowledge and skills, to contribute in a better way to your profession. So wherever you go, your presence will produce positive energy. 
Your actions will evoke interest in others and your words and actions will impart healing to many people. Often we think the nursing profession is only to be with the sick and breathe the air of sorrow and pain. Graduates, dear, you have lot of potential within you. Harness it and grow out to be someone and fulfill your dreams. You can grow and get evidence-based knowledge and become experts in some special skills, of course, coupled with human values. In today's society, advanced medicine and technology alone will not heal humankind. But well integrated, true compassion, care, concern, love, and gentleness will bring about healing and restore health. Nurses mastered in these holistic practices are ready to meet the growing demands of health care, born of integration between human and divine, East and West, art and science. Dear students, on your graduation day, I wish you all the best for your future career. I thank the parents who have chosen for your children this noble institution to become not mere professionalists, but form them in character too. We heard from the report. You deserve our congratulations that you look forward in your daughters. And I heard now there are also sons, a brighter future with commitment. You have encouraged and motivated them to pursue the goal without minding the obstacles and difficulties. I do extend my deep appreciation to the management and staff of this institution for providing quality nursing education and preparing young persons to confidently enter into the nursing profession and encourage them to occupy various higher positions in the field of healthcare in India and abroad. May today's gathering inspire and invigorate you to prepare well-trained nurses to render committed service to all sections of people in our society following the example of Jesus, the divine healer. I'm delighted to note the steady growth of this institution and place on record my deep appreciation for the good work turned out by your college, which prepared committed and dedicated personnel in the field of healthcare through various specialities. My congratulations to you on obtaining a grade from NAC for academic, academic excellence. At this moment, I cannot but recall with gratitude our sisters who are working here in Father Mullahs. Since 1898, the Sisters of Charity render their dedicated service with love and enthusiasm, being the integral part of Father Muller institutions, which is stepping into its 139 year of its existence. I feel happy and proud that my sisters are rendering their dedicated service for the past 60 years, in 61 beginning, in the education of nurses. Their service in collaboration with well-qualified, efficient staff in the formation of nurses' character building is remarkable. Hearty congratulations to the staff. And on this auspicious day, wish them all the best for the future. My dear budding graduates, 
you are the future of our country. Remember, you are going out not only with a degree, but with well-integrated, value-based formation you have received here at Father Muller's charitable institutions. Bring credit to your alma mater by upholding ethical values. Carry a ray of hope when life gets too busy and difficulties crowd your mind. In moments of struggles and challenges, look up to God Almighty, the compassionate, merciful Father, and be joyful, vibrant, committed nurses to uphold the motto and be faithful to the oath you have just solemnly pledged before God and in the presence of this assembly. Let Florence Nightingale be your model. I wish you all the bright future. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for your inspiring message. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to honor our meritorious students of the School and College of Nursing, whose academic performance has been outstanding. We begin with the School of Nursing. May I request Mrs. Anita Nancy Suarez, Assistant Lecturer, to announce the names of the achievers from the General Nursing and Midwifery course. We request the President of this function to hand over the awards to the prize winners. Respected dignitaries, on the days and of the days, I am happy to announce academic prizes of board examination held by Karnataka State Diploma in Nursing Examination in the month of August 2018. Highest marks in anatomy and physiology, prize founded by Sister Edmund de Souza, ex-principal, Father Mulla School of Nursing, goes to Sister Manju Jos. Highest marks in mental health nursing, prize founded by Dr. K. S. Shetty, psychiatrist, goes to Sister Kosina Pogu Prasanna. Highest marks in mental health nursing, prize founded by Dr. K. S. Shetty, psychiatrist, and 100% attendance in theory and practical in third year GNM goes to Miss Priya Vinaya Rebello. Highest marks in midwifery, prize founded by late sister Maria Teresa Fernandez goes to Anisha Pais and Miss Adeline Regina Mulli. Highest marks in medical surgical nursing, prize founded by late Dr. Jasumati Modi and 100% attendance in theory and practical in third year GNM goes to Sister Ruby Jos. Highest marks in community health nursing, one and two, prize founded by late Lawrence Fernandez goes to Sister Samul Nityashree. Highest aggregate in first year GNM, prize founded by Father P.S. Noronna, ex-director, and highest marks in fundamentals of nursing, sponsored by School of Nursing alumni, goes to Sister Prissy Janet Rodriguez. Highest aggregate in second year GNM, prize founded by Father C.J. Mathias, and highest marks in child health nursing, sponsored by School of Nursing alumni, goes to Miss Lavina DiMello. Highest aggregate in third year GNM, prize founded by Father L.S. Pais, and highest aggregate for consecutive three years, prize founded by Sister Apulin Moniz, ex-provincial of Sisters of Charity, goes to Miss Jasmita Souza.
best outgoing student prize founded by mother general sisters of charity goes to miss glanita de souza now we would like to honor the students who have secured 100% attendance in theory and practical first year gnm miss ashna e benny miss delita shanan lobo miss silvi cecil vegas Miss Krishal Amrit Miss Disoza Sharina Kashmir Miss Mamata MS Miss Pushpa Disoza Miss Prima Matayas Miss Nishita De Souza Second year GNM Miss Jafrin S Fernandes Miss Roshini Vinita Miranda Dear GNM Sister Benita Priya De Souza Miss Rahiman Jamina A Miss Rita Rozi Miss Veronica Paulus Thank you. May I now invite Dr. Devina Rodriguez, PG coordinator and head of nursing research department to present the prize winners of basic BSc, post basic BSc and MSc nursing program. We request the president to present the prizes and honor the winners. Good evening to all. Potential is not an end point, but a capacity to grow and learn. This has been proved by our students by reaching excellence in academics. I am glad to present them to this August gathering. The students who have stood first in class at the university examination held by Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences and first 10 ranks in RGHS examination for the academic year 2014-18. The prizes sponsored by Alumni Association, first BS in nursing, first in class, and highest marks in nursing foundation in first BS in nursing goes to Miss Treya Thomas. Second year BS in nursing, first in class, Josna J. Machado and Maria Jyoti Mascarenas. Third BSc Nursing, first in class, Andrea De Souza. And Glenita Fernandez. Glenita also has secured highest aggregate in medical surgical nursing in second and third BSc nursing. Fourth year BSc nursing, first in class and highest marks in OBG nursing in fourth BSc nursing goes to Charita Clavia Levis. She has also secured rank in five subjects nutrition, nursing foundation, research, medical surgical nursing, management and education. First year PBBS nursing, first in class, Denzin Dolker Bhutia.
फर्स्ट ईयर एम एस सी नर्सिंग फर्स्ट इन क्लास नैन्सी दिव्या डिसल्वा शी हेज ऑल्सो सिक्योर्ड हंड्रेड परसेंट अटेंडेंस इन थियोरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल फॉर द ईयर सेवनटीन एटीन सेकेंड ईयर एम एस सी नर्सिंग फर्स्ट इन क्लास मुक्ता ओरेलिया तिरके highest in psychiatric nursing in third year bsc nursing alisha babu prize donated by mrs leela nayar highest aggregate in community health nursing in second and fourth bsc nursing goes to pratima neeta castellino she has also bagged rank in four subjects psychology community health nursing medical surgical nursing and child health nursing prize donated by mr eric and rena in the name of master renver de souza for the highest marks in pediatric nursing in third bsc nursing goes to jisma lolita de mello prize donated by late mr lawrence fernandez highest marks in community health nursing in second post basic bsc nursing and first in class second pbbs nursing goes to nisha mol joseph she has also procured rank in three subjects nursing foundation nursing education and in nursing administration prize donated by mother general sisters of charity highest aggregate in post basic bsc nursing goes to priya fiola pinto she has also obtained five subject ranks nursing foundation nutrition psychology nursing administration and sociology msc nursing highest aggregate marks goes to rizma fernandez she also receives best dissertation award in msc nursing aishwarya ts has secured rank in four subjects in rghs examination anatomy physiology nutrition mental health nursing management and education lisha maria de souza rank in two subjects nutrition and psychology surya george rank in two subjects nutrition and medical surgical nursing roja sam in two subjects nutrition and sociology Rose Mary Joseph in two subjects nutrition and microbiology Rank in anatomy and physiology goes to Dia James Jasmine Joseph Selin Raju Crystal Rincia de Souza Rima Susan de Costa Rank in nutrition goes to Steffi Norona Alina Suresh Ashi Abraham Bibi Mol Abraham Rank in Community Health Nursing backed by Chinchu Anthony Rank in Management and Education goes to Jismi Maria T Devasiya Silla Reji gift team Mol Joseph Jayarani Joseph subject wise rank list in PCBSC nursing Binsi Jose has bagged rank in three subjects nursing foundation 
nutrition and biochemistry the following students have secured rank in nursing foundation and nutrition mv jansi harit philip ashwati babu Gina Joseph Joyner Pais Josna Jos Lindsay Korean Elvira Kutina in nursing foundation and psychology vinita sharil pinto rank in nursing foundation sarika av bindu pp shaini angadiyat Shaini Matthew Fernandez Jadria Jaisilla Jyoti Vargis Sijimol KJ rank in nutrition and dietics rosmi savi students who have secured 100% attendance in theory and practical for the year 1718 jelmol johnny in first bsc nursing melody seema disosa third bsc nursing Nikita Disosa first MSc nursing Sister Antonamma first MSc nursing Ladies and gentlemen now comes the most awaiting event now i present to you the gem in the crown of Father Muller College of Nursing who has made us proud by securing highest aggregate in BSc Nursing Miss Shalu Sebastian She also receives Mrs Mary Dessa Platinum Jubilee Memorial prize donated by their son Father Dennis Dessa for overall excellence award as best outgoing student in BSc Nursing second rank in first bsc nursing exams held by rajiv gandhi university of health sciences for the academic year 2014-15 and also secured rank in six subjects anatomy and physiology nutrition biochemistry nursing foundation microbiology sociology management and education i wish to place on record that Miss Shalu has obtained first rank in Nursing Foundation in the RGHS examination. A loud round of applause to our own Shalu Sebastian. I request all the dignitaries to join her for photos. Thank you. Thank you, dignitaries. On behalf of the graduates. Ms. Shalu Sebastian from College of Nursing will now express her sentiments and gratitude.
Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Good evening to all. Honorable President of the Ceremony, Chief Guest of the Day, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coilo, our Director, Reverend Father Rudolf Rebidisa, Administrator, Father Muller Medical College Hospital, Reverend Father Ajit Meneses, Administrator, Father Muller Medical College, all wherever we go. Once again, thanks to all. Thank you, Ms. Shalu. We require to deliver the presidential address. On this great occasion of the presentation ceremony, be a compassionate, confident, and competent nurse. Certainly, God will bless you and it is through your hands, Jesus the Lord, who brings cure and solace to the patient. With this, once again, I, along with the governing board of members, beginning with the president, our bishop, most reverend Peter Paul Saldana, and all the members of the governing body, place on record the dedication of the management the guidance of the faculty support and good wishes of your parents to make Father Mullahs as one of prestigious institutions of our diocese and the country. Congratulations again and may God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Monsignor. On behalf of the institutions, we would like to present a memento to the president of the solemn function. May I request our director to do the honors. We also would like to honor the chief guest on behalf of the institutions. I request our director to do the honors by presenting the memento. Thank you, Father. We now invite Professor Victoria D. Almeida Vice Principal College of Nursing to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening to all of you. The essence of all beautiful art, all great art is gratitude, says Frederick Nietzsche. Respected dignitaries on the days most valued guests, invitees and friends, graduates, it's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion. First and foremost, I thank God Almighty for sharing his abundant blessings for the meticulous conduct of this event. I, on behalf of the entire institution and on behalf of the college, extend a hearty vote of thanks to the president of this program, Right Reverend Monsignor Maxim El Norona for being here with us and for the beautiful message. Your eminent presence has indeed made this event a memorable one. Thank you, Monsignor. I thank our chief guest, Reverend Sister Dr. Matilda Montero for sharing words of goodwill and wisdom with us this evening. We are inspired by your great words and indeed grateful for the gift of your time. We are really honored by your gracious presence. Thank you, sister. I must mention a deep sense of appreciation to our director. Dear father, we are highly appreciative of your leadership, encouragement, and extensive support in conducting this program. Thank you, father. I wish to express my gratitude to Reverend Father Rudolf Ravidesa and Reverend Father Ajit Menezes 
for sparing your time out of your busy schedule and for being here present. Your presence has doubled our joy. Thank you, fathers, for your enormous cooperation in organizing this event. I would like to place on record the dedication and leadership of our, princ of our principals, Reverend Sister Jacinta De Souza and Mrs. Jasmine Saritawas. Dear principals, your guidance and meticulous planning and timely help has gone a long way in organizing this program. Thank you. We are grateful to our Chief Nursing Officer, Reverend Sister Janet De Souza, for all that she is for us. Dear sister, your cooperation and guidance, along with your band of staff nurses, is great in molding our students to be efficient staff nurses. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Thanks to all the fathers in the management, MC and advisory committee members, in charge of various departments, the teaching and non-teaching staff of our institutions. Thank you all. I am greatly appreciative of the generosity of those who have sponsored various merit awards. All our invitees, guests and parents who are present here. Your presence has boosted our joy and it is an assurance of your support and concern towards our college. Thank you all. Any program needs wide coverage which is done by the press and media. We are sure that you will certainly make our college proud by a wide publicity. Thank you. I thank profusely Mr. Vijay Oliveira and the college band team for working beyond your comfort zones to increase the glamour of this event. I am doubly sure that a lot of hard work and sacrifice has gone in to make this event a grand success. Thank you. Thanks, Gelo, to the staff of college and school of nursing who have put their heart and soul in making this program a grand success. The team has done an incredible job. Thank you all. A sense of deep appreciation to our students who have participated in the cultural program, helped us as volunteers, and a big thanks to the compeers of this program. Thank you. And last but not the least, a big thanks to all those who have contributed directly or indirectly for the smooth conduct of this program. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, madam. We, re we request you all to rise for the institutional anthem.
Thank you. Now we have the recession starting with the dignitaries, head of departments, followed by the postgraduates and graduates of college and school of nursing. Please remain standing as dignitaries move out of the auditorium. Come in soon.